All right, so we're going to do our finest course presentation of our panels, which are one and a quarter inch thick versus product that everyone's been using for decades, which we also sell. And um, if you want that on your finished cement product, we can provide this. We have two different forms, and both are the most affordable out in the market. Having said that, this is a packed dirt lot with sand. And we're going to do our test with the typical panels, which we tell you need cement, and we're going to prove it, and our panels, which will save you thousands and thousands of dollars not needing cement. Now, once you pack the dirt and sand mixture, very similar to what we have here, you would want to put your weed barrier down. Now, these are just small samples, two feet by two feet, but imagine a bigger area. Then we have our product, our mesh product that holds the panels in place. We'll go over that. And we will put the panel on, and you would have a bunch of panels like a puzzle. When you're done, you can play basketball or tennis, pickleball that same day. We're going to give you an example of how well it works. Now, we ran the other test on cement. Both products work on cement, but now when you don't have the luxury of cement and you want to save a lot of money, you don't need to pull permits, here's what's going to happen. We're going to do the basketball test first, then I will do the pickleball and the tennis ball. So imagine, here we are with our product, everything put down, here's the basketball, you ready to play or not? If you look, it's all good to go. Alright, now, if you put the other product on just this and you don't have cement, okay, it doesn't come up too good. It bounces okay, but this one, much higher. So you can see you lose a lot. You would have to really inflate the basketball just to even get it to work here. So this is going to work much better only on... All right, so now we've got the tennis ball and the pickleball, which you want to use on your courts too. So we'll test them on both products. Keeping in mind these are lighter weight than the basketball, so they're really finicky on just how much pressure they're receiving. So here's the tennis ball, and you can play tennis on our panel once it's on here. And the pickleball, also not too bad. It is a light ball, and they're not going to bounce as high on any court anyway. Now let's try them on the uh, thinner product. Should do okay, but not nearly as well, because it needs more of a foundation of cement. Here we go, the tennis ball. Okay, so it does, it's, it's springing. It's kind of not popping up as good. So you do lose bounce. And the pickleball just dies. Literally just dies. So it won't bounce up. So again, when you're on our course, you can kind of get it to bounce a lot better. So there's the demonstration of our product just needing packed dirt and, your and then no foundation cement. And there's needing cement. You can save thousands of dollars. Once you get to this stage, you're ready to go versus having to pour cement. All right, paved parking lot and you have pavement or cement already laid down at your home. The ball is going to bounce fine on the cement. It's also going to bounce pretty fine on the same typical product as quarter thick. And it's going to bounce just perfectly fine on ours. So, if you stay with just the cement or the pavement and paint the lines, the injury factor is there. So your ankles, knees, joints take a lot less bag. So for a little bit extra money, if you want to get our panels, they're great for the joints. These not so good, and this obviously the worst. So that's that comparison. We save you thousands. If you don't have cement or asphalt foundation, but if you do, and you want to spend a little extra, much safer for everybody. Now step a little bit on both surfaces.